what's going on everybody welcome back to another vlog in today's video as you can tell from the title is about the newly built pc that i've been using for about two months so i'm gonna share with you about the individual parts but of course i'm not a tech savvy person so i don't really know about you know benchmark and all those kind of stuff but i'm gonna share some of these parts that i'm using for my gaming um editing and also streaming so yep let's get to it Okay, so before we get started with the individual parts, I would like to give a shout out to my friend at Systemize PC for helping me out with this custom build. And um, if you have any budget or you want to build your own customized PC, you have your individual parts that you want, you can check my friend at Systemize PC, links in the description to build your own custom one like this, okay? so let's get started with the individual parts over here firstly we're going to talk about the case so the case over here is the lian li o11 dynamic mini it comes with three colors there's black white and snow as you can see this is full white so this is the snow version the difference between white and snow is that this front panel um, and the side is actually fully white if you were to opt for the snow but for the white version um, these two parts is actually like there's like a black frame over here so yep this is a full white version but um as you can tell the gpu is not white but i'm, go I'm gonna get to the reason why it's not white even though i choose to make everything else is white okay so let's talk about the first um few boring parts first so um for the storage uh, I'm actually using my PDT Helios 300 laptop um, SSD which is 256GB and also 1TB HDD um, Everything is added inside so basically everything that's on my laptop is here So yeah, um, I do not need to like you know reinstall a lot of stuff other than just the drivers So um, next will be the additional parts which I added um, one more I think Alexa 512GB SSD and also 2TB Toshiba HDD uh, for additional storage to add more games and also media cache files for my editing softwares Next, these white cables over here basically um, is from Techware Flex so basically it's just an aesthetic kind of thing where um, if we were to use the basic stock um, wires it doesn't look that pleasing and having this white or you know other colors and graded cables it will make it look more sleek and nicer basically looks cleaner and yeah it's just aesthetics but if you want to cut costs on that um, you can just use the stock wires that comes with the individual parts itself okay so next we're going to talk about the PSU as you can see I mean you can't even see because it's not visible here the PSU actually is at the back as in the other side behind where it's behind the motherboard itself so this case is actually slightly lower but it's wider so you can add the PSU at the back and that's where um, everything is covered up so my PSU is actually black in color um, if, if you were to look at the back it's actually black but it's just at the port side but you can't really see the whole PSU so it doesn't matter if you wanna get white or black as in um, you won't even look at the back of your port every day so it doesn't matter you're gonna cut costs on that um yeah you can just get a simple basic one even though um if you want to build a full white pc but <laughs> it doesn't matter to be honest if you want to cut costs a lot all these rgb parts you can actually opt for non-rgb or even a full black one so that's gonna save the cost of the whole build 
Okay, so for the PSU, I'm actually using the Corsair uh, SF600 AD Plus um, Gold PSU. This 600 watt is actually enough to power up everything that's in here. But uh, if you were to upgrade to a better GPU or add more fans and all those kind of stuff, you probably need to upgrade your PSU to a greater watt, maybe like 850 or you know 1000. It depends on your setup. So yeah, you will need to research more on these parts before building it so yep okay so next we're gonna talk about the fans on top there are three fans which is the Cooler Master MF120 Hello White so it comes with a bundle of three or you can even purchase it individually well you can actually add one more at the back over here if um, even bottom you can add three more but um, I'm having I'm using a seven pin hub so um, that's already five so i can actually add two more but yeah uh, if i were to add three at the bottom i will probably need to change the hub to a uh, eight pin so for now i guess this is good enough i don't need any more fans because uh, yeah pretty much good enough unless i want to make it look full and more aesthetically pleasing but it's not a need if you are on a budget so yeah um, as you can see, these two fans here is the AIO Palm, which I'm using the Lian Li Galahad um, AIO 240 White. It's a white version too. And oh, and the Cooler Master on top also is a white version. It comes in black version also. So, yep, you can. If you want to build a full black setup, of course, it comes in black color. As you can see over here, um, the AIO Palm is also um, RGB color cycle and this silver thing at the middle here you can actually customize to your own logo my friend at Systemize PC actually does custom design so you can check him out uh, if you want to customize your own design on the AIO palm yeah let's get to the more interesting parts okay the main part will be the motherboard so the motherboard I'm using is the Asus ROG Strix B550 Gaming White it comes in black also, but for the black, as you can see from the ROG logo, um, it's gonna be RGB. You can turn on the light, but for the white, it's only silver ascent, and there's some, um, you know, there's some red ascent for the ROG streaks, and other than that, there are silver casing for the heatsink and also the SSD enclosure. Uh, it looks nice. It looks sleek and not too much RGB, so it doesn't matter to me. As long everything works fine, that's the better option rather than having it looks pleasing but you know, <laughs> it's gonna cost a lot. Okay, so um, for the processor, I've been thinking about um, AMD Ryzen. So I started off with um, thinking of getting Ryzen 5 2600 but then I uh, decided to get, you know, maybe Ryzen 5 5600X. Then after like comparing prices because of supply and demand and all those kind of stuff for everything that I wanted, the budget is like kind of tight. So I decided to increase my budget a little bit. So finally, I've decided on getting the Ryzen 7 5800X instead. So it has 8 cores and 16 threads, which is um, good enough for what I'm doing gaming, streaming, especially editing, um, Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. It's very smooth but adobe premiere pro is still <laughs> it's just adobe things but yeah everything uh, is fast and smooth compared to my old laptop of course so if you are planning to get a desktop um i would recommend ryzen instead of intel personally because i believe it's slightly cheaper and it can uh, perform better in uh, especially in gaming if you were to play more games like heavy games you know warzone and all those kind of stuff with heavy graphics and if you like to go ultra um, not only because of the processor but also the ram and the gpu which are going to talk about now so the next two things is going to be um let me talk about the ram first i'm using the corsair vengeance um, rgb pro sl so this ram uh, basically is a 32 gig um, there's only two card slot because individually is 16 gig so there are two more slots so basically i can go up to 64 gig but it's not a need um 32 is enough for my work 
and is even overkill for gaming because most of the games you probably need like 16 um the things that you need is basically more towards the gpu so let's move on and talk about the gpu okay as you can see it's small cute and it's black because it's not easy to get a white gpu um i've seen zotac white gpu which is nice but the price is slightly um costly i mean not super costly but if you want to save cost you can even get something like this this is the pali rtx 3060 so i asked my friend if um what about zotac actually zotac costs about two to three hundred more so it performs about the same and maybe Zotac there's two fan this is only having one fan and yeah it doesn't look that nice but it performs well so why not just take this um there's a rgb on this uh on the branding but other than that um it looks like a small little gpu <laughs> yeah basically um gpu having a 12 gig vram so this setup basically um, was recommended by my friend at Systemize PC. Um, I told him like, I do editing, I play games, I do streaming, and but I have a budget. So you can tell him your budget and also um, what you want to do um, from your PC. So you can even choose your individual part and he can um, advise you on what is good, what is bad, um, what is compatible because sometimes um, certain things doesn't do well with each other and even you know like um, everything that you added here might need a different power supply, different watt so you can check out Systemize PC and also um, ask for recommendation if you want to build your own customized one and let's talk about the price now which you probably want to hear about <laughs> okay so i've been checking um at other stores like even aftershock mansa computers and even other pc builders um, from carousel and stuff and most of these parts like not exactly the same um brand but the same uh, specs like 3060 but they actually offer like more like zotac or you know msi like those more well-known brands um those cost about 3.4k okay but for this setup that i'm using over here it costs about 2.8 so basically you are saving about 600 dollars for this setup from for the exact same specs compared to other builders um that probably have a so-called better or nicer setup but you know, if you want to cut costs, you can check out Systemize PC. So I've been using this setup for like about two months and everything works well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade anything. Like, I don't think I'm going to add more fans. Even though it looks very hollow over at the bottom, probably going to add some figurines at the bottom. And also, you can customize certain things. As I mentioned just now, you can add your own logo at the AIO pump over here and the front panel is also transparent you can add like a 14 inch tablet um act as a second monitor so you can like um use a extended monitor and use this as a you know well, whatever you want to do um pc specs or like temperature you are if you want to check out or maybe um if you are to stream you can put a twitch chat here instead of having additional big monitor um, if your setup is like very squeezy of course not only um, this is a budget setup um, you can even opt for better brands like MSI, um, Asus or whichever if you only have the budget so you want to cut costs on building your PC you can just go for like a full black uh, non-RGB instead of having AIO pump you can just use air cooling uh, which is actually enough so that's probably gonna cost about maybe 2k or even lesser depends but the gpu is the most expensive usually it costs about 40 percent of all the overall pc setup so yeah uh, we wanna go for just gaming setup uh, i can recommend you using rtx 1660 
and 16 gig or even 8 gig ram is enough so yeah probably gonna cost you about less than 2000 singapore dollars but yeah it's up to you so yeah this whole build actually comes with windows 10 activated um unlike some other builders where you have to add on about hundred dollar for just windows 10 which is gonna cost a lot to be honest so yeah okay so that's all for today's video i hope you all enjoy this uh, pc tour maybe in the future i'm gonna do some uh, editing workflow if you wanna check them out so stay tuned it will probably be in the next few videos um, i still have some behind the scene of my photo shoots and stuff uh, i'm gonna do more like cinematic video kind of things so maybe i wish i can screen record my um video editing my workflow but adobe premiere is just too laggy to record mm, but we'll see how it goes okay so it's the end of this video i hope you all enjoy this one please do give a thumbs up if you enjoy and also um, if you have any questions drop down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this maybe editing behind the scene photo shoot and more other stuff if you have any recommendations or ideas do drop down in the comments below i'll try to do it so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this one until the next one guys peace out